Hey team, Patrick here. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the most common errors recreational players make on the volley that when we go through them, might have you thinking, yeah, I do that. And also the fixes that will make your volley more efficient, accurate and consistent, just like you're seeing from the pros at Wimbledon. So let's get into it. So let's start with the big one, and that's the grip we've got to be volleying with the continental grip. And I know some of you are thinking, really Pat, we know this, but I see it every day. Players volleying with the Eastern forehand grip or even sometimes more Western. And the problem with this is it leads to players using the same side of the racket on both sides of their body. It's like the windscreen wiper on a car. And you might get away with this grip if you've got a, a high ball and you're very close to the net. But if the ball is low, I see players trying to hit up on the ball with top spin or struggling to control the racket face and just popping the ball straight up. So we need the ability to keep our hands below the racket head and use both the forehand and backhand side of the racket. When players get used to the forehand grip, they tend to be too open with their body, with the racket straight up. But now the ball can only go down and we're gonna struggle to get under the ball. So like a ground stroke, we need to be more sideways to hit on the outside of our body. With not too excessive a turn, we don't want too big a backswing. We want to keep our elbow in front, in line with our outside foot. But we need to set the racket to the side on around a 45 degree line. Otherwise, with the continental grip on the forehand volley, it's going to put our wrist in too weak and uncomfortable a position which is actually why players often find the backhand volley more natural. Like I said, the next mistake I see, and we've all been told this at some point, is making too big a swing with the arm, not setting the racket directly behind the ball, using the big muscles as we should, and then players are punching at the ball or chopping, at the ball with an abrupt jerky motion and no touch or feel but too active a wrist where the racket overtakes the hand on the way through and the ball goes crooked so we should think about it more like catching the ball on our strings and if the racket does go back it's because we lag the racket slightly behind the hand but my hand stays in front and now my hands stay closer together i lead with the bottom edge of the racket which allows me to adjust and open the racket face if needed and i get a bit of slice on the ball for control and it keeps the ball low The reason players make too big a swing is a lack of, or at least incorrect footwork, not volleying with the feet, stepping out and in, where we get this weight transfer and momentum through the ball. It's not a case of stepping across with one step and stamping, like you might have been told, but we lead with the outside foot. We load the outside foot first. So the last step I take before hitting the ball is with the foot that's on the same side as the ball. And now my inside foot is in the air as I move through the ball and not to the ball. A lot of these errors come from poor practice. 
players always setting up very close to the net where you only need one type of volley and can get away with the racket being straight up and punching and not using proper footwork. But remember, there are other types of volley. So I recommend practicing further back around the service line. It's more like a transitional volley where it's now not always one size fits all. Right team, hope this has helped clear a few things up and it's not on the volley about old school phrases like step across and punch. And if this video has helped, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. So I'll see you on court in the next one. Cheers, guys.